Okay, I mean, for to, to be a bit more specific, yes. and for those out there, yeah. and you can use this to score me whether uh, <laughs> I've been a good reader of your book. <laughs> the central character is Taduno. Taduno, yes. And he went on exile. Yes. Um, and um, there was a dict dictator yes. in, in government yes. ruling the country, the ruling his country. Yes. And for some reason, Taduno returns yes. to the country yes. and found out that the dictator had tried to erase yes. his memory, mm -hmm. you know, everything about him. Yes. And uh, of course, there's his, his love life. There was Lela. Lela. Yes. And he comes back, Lela is in jail. Yes. He comes back, the dictator is still after him yes. and wants to blackmail him mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to stop using his music. Against the government. Against the government. To praise the government instead. Yes. Yeah. And, I mean, that's basically the story. Yes. How do you score me? I score you 110%. <laughs> <laughs> That's very succinct, you know. Okay, yeah. so yeah. at some point, I mean, at some point in the story, it becomes yes. a bit obvious that there's a bit of, there's a bit of fella yes. here. Yes. I mean, fella himself was overseas yes. and came back to Nigeria. I mean, there's a lot of similarities uh -huh. in the story. Uh -huh. Particularly the part, um, the aspect of Fela using music, yes. you know, to challenge governments. Yes. And, and to promote the cost of the downtrodden. Yeah, which was what Taduno was, yes, was doing, doing yes. in, in, in his story. Yes. Has, that's really, I, I, like, I, like, I like the fact that you took an iconic figure yeah. in Nigeria uh -huh. and then you weaved your story uh -huh. around um, his own story, yes. sort of. Yes. How much of that is going on in our literary space in Nigeria? Well, I would say that for every great story, in my own opinion, we take our sources, our inspiration from society. Every great story written, or every great story that will be written, takes sources from society. It's about society, you know. Uh, in the past, I used to like try to, when I started writing, to imagine things from, you know, difficult things, trying to like capture plots and episodes from nowhere. And I found it quite difficult until one day I sat back. I said, come on, most of the stories we want to tell have been lived or we are living those stories or those stories will be lived. So I, I discovered that society provides us all the material we need as artists. You know, be you a painter, a musician, a writer. So you just have to look up, look around you. Yes. And there you have them. Because what we are writing about, what, what, our writing is designed not just to entertain. I mean, it's to transform society, to move society forward, to provide a basis for preserving our past, our culture, you know, and to define, to, re, to define our future. Mm. So whatever we write about as artists must be grounded in society. Hmm. That's very, really interesting. Taduno's song, how will you categorize it in terms of uh, genre um, for, for, for somebody out there who is still very curious? I'll call it basically literary fiction. Um, although there, there, are, there are elements of magical realism there, you know, but I'll call it um, um, uh, literary fiction, basically. I, I like. I also like the publishing, the publishing um, angle yes. to this book. I yes. mean, it's well made, and for years, Nigerians have been going overseas right. to to print mm -hmm, to produce mm -hmm. good quality. Mm -hmm, I mean, mm -hmm. this is this, is this was done in Nigeria. Nigeria right? yeah. This was printed in Nigeria. Yes. yes right. Yes. So that's changing a lot that's now. That's changing, and it's good because um, you see. The, the, the rights of the book was first sold to the UK publishers. They bought the world right, and they did their own uh, printing, of course, in the UK. The right was sold to the US, of course, they printed in, the, in, in, their, in their own country as well. German, the same thing, Italian. So the rights, after, after, after the UK publishers bought the right, it's been sold to... Uh, publishers about, all over the world. Yes, in different, yeah, different territories. Now, each of them, of course, obviously published in their own country. So I'm very proud that Nigerian publishers buying the right published in Nigeria using our own. Um, so Wida gets the, the, the rights from? From the UK publishers. The UK publishers. Yeah. 
just like they gave to a Turkish the, publisher, the, uh, a German publisher. Yeah, US so publisher. I'm excited yeah. about this yes. because that means that we're beginning to have real publishing going yes. on yes. in Nigeria. Yes. And writers can simply focus on their craft. Uh, yes, exactly. So. While publishers focus on the uh, business yeah. aspects That's it, yeah. of, of their books. Sure. If, if we develop that a lot more, uh, I think we can get more quality. Yes, quality, literature. Uh, um, literature. Yes, and, and I think the, the, the industry is very vibrant right now. The publishing industry is becoming, um, really picking up. Uh, people are beginning to do great things, you know, and um, we are beginning to see great works from a lot of Nigerians. And um, I think the younger ones coming up uh, would be encouraged by this development because it means that they have more opportunities, you know. Okay. And, um, yeah. Well, um, Odafi, it's yes. been nice having you on Channels Book Club. Thank you very much. Kunde. Congrats again on your book. Thanks and I know you already you have another one coming out later in the year. My second book is coming out in August. We're looking in the, forward. In the UK, yeah. We're looking forward to, to that. Thank you very much. Congratulations. My pleasure. Nice to have you on Channels Book Thanks Club. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Yeah.